behind the kitchen. Joe Dick is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like oh she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Joe Dick cooking, delicious cooking. Hey. Hi guys. It's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another amazing, delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some Jamaican excabish fish. Yes. So guys, the fish that I'll be using, I'm gonna use some parrot. I have three parrot fish right here, and I also have some snapper. And guys, this is white snapper. Yes, it's not the yellow tail snapper. It's white. I buy them here in the UK, and I also have some sprouts you know on this side i don't have a lot of sprouts and i have four snapper as you can see you know they're a bit big they're already washed they're already clean what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna slice it and show you all okay stay tuned let i just show you my seasoning so these are all of my seasoning here i have one tablespoon of my fish seasoning one tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoon of my black pepper and one teaspoon of salt okay don't forget guys to give me a thumbs up please share this video to someone that you know will also enjoy it I thank you all so much in advance so first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut the tail off the fish and guys I have a video on my channel and how I scale and cut my fish You guys can go and check it out. If you want, you can leave off the tail. But sometimes when you leave, when the tail is on there, if you don't have a big patch, it take up, you know, too much space. So that's the reason why I cut it also. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the tail on, on my parrot fish. Because the parrot fish is not, you know, too big. So that's the reason why. So now I'm going to take a sharp knife. And I'm just gonna slice it. Try not to, you know, cut it too much. I'm gonna do slice it two times, okay? And you just wanna carry on with the same process. So now I'm going to take a paper towel and just pat dry it because I know say they might go fry and you want them you know fry nice and crispy normally when you know too much water is on there it is not as crispy so normally I just take a paper towel or a cloth whatever you have and just dry it and what I did, I also, you know, cut my sprat. I cut it and I remove, you know, all the gut away from it. You don't have to scale sprat fish because there's no scale on it. So now what I'm going to do, my seasoning, I'm just going to mix it all in. So everything will all combine. Now I'm gonna season it, okay? Just gonna rub the season on. Also gonna add some of the seasoning on the inside. Around the back. Just rub it in. And you just want to carry on with the same process. Okay, guys? 
try and be careful especially if you never do this before because you don't want the bone you know to juke you so be careful if you don't want to use your hand you can also use a gloves your bare hands just use a gloves I'm used to it so that's the reason why you know I'm not really frightened because I'm used to it I love extra rich fish with some hard dough bread Now I'm gonna season the sprats. Just sprinkle some of the season on the sprat and just you know rub it in. Guys, it is all seasoning, so now I'm just gonna put it on the side. And I'm just gonna make my extra big dressing, okay? So these are my ingredients for my extra big dressing. So here I have three carrot. I also have four scotch bonnet pepper, one large onion that I cut, and some bell pepper, sweet pepper. I have two. You can use the yellow one also. I don't have the yellow one, so I'm using the red and the green, which is perfect, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna cut it and show you all, okay? You can cut it in whichever size guys okay you can cut it you know like cut it in two it can come like this like you know slant it or you can also cut it crossway just take your time Cut it in two and then cut it in small pieces. This takes a lot of patience, but if you have the time, you just do it like this. I normally cut it like this, but today I'm going to cut it round because I don't have so much time. It's after 1 a.m. right now. So I'm in my kitchen, everyone is sleeping. So I want to finish this as soon as possible. Make sure that you remove the outer layer from your carrot. It's already washed, everything is washed guys. So now guys, it is all cut, my carrot. So now I'm gonna cut my onion. I'm just gonna cut it round. Now I'm gonna cut my scotch bonnet pepper. And if you're not happy using your hands, your beer hands, you just use a gloves. But if you do use your beer hands, make sure that you wash your hands straight away. Do not touch your eyes. Otherwise, the pepper will burn you up. This pepper is really hot, guys. Now I'm gonna cut my sweet pepper. You're gonna remove this seed. Just gonna cut it like so. 
remove the white part as well on the inside yeah just gonna cut it slant Yeah, you're gonna cut it just like this guys, okay? And as I said, you can always cut it in whichever size. Yeah, so guys everything is all cut So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add them to my plate right here And just put them to the side, okay? So guys, now I'm going to fry my fish, but before I fry my fish, I'm going to add a scotch bonnet pepper just to see how at my oil is. And you're going to also add, you know, some flavor to the oil. And I'm also going to add a garlic and I use vegetable oil. I add at least, at least two cups I add guys. Yeah, two cups. So I just open up my scotch bonnet pepper. And the reason why I add my wooden spoon is because my camera won't focus in. So that's why. Garlic that I cut. So my hail is heated up. So now I'm going to add my fish. And I'm going to fry it for at least 6 minutes on each side. Okay? I'm just gonna add two, okay? So now I'm gonna turn over my fish. So now guys, I'm going to remove my fish.
subscribe for more of these delicious recipes. Hit the thumbs up and share across all your social media platforms for more of these amazing delicious recipes from Jody Cooking. Jody cooking delicious cooking. Jody cooking. So now guys, I'm going to make my ex-scrubbish dressing. So to my pot, I add just over one tablespoon of my vegetable oil. So now I'm just going to add all my onions, my carrot. I'm just going to add it all. Just like so. And I'm going to also add at least two tablespoons of my fresh thyme. Two to one tablespoon, okay? And at least three cloves of garlic. One teaspoon of my pimento seed. Just going to allow it to saute, guys, for at least one minute, okay? So after one minute guys, this is what it look like. You don't want it to be, you know, super soft. Now I'm going to add my vinegar. And I'm going to add at least a cup of my vinegar. And guys, I'm going to also add one tablespoon of my brown sugar. And what the sugar does is take away, you know, some of the sour taste away from the fish. So that's the reason why it balances it out. If you don't want to use it, it is totally optional. But trust me, it will make a difference. I'm just going to mix it in. And I'm just going to leave it, guys, for at least two minutes or so. Try not to make it overcook, okay? gonna leave it uncovered 
So guys, as you can see, it has come to a boil. So I'm just gonna turn my stove off. It smells real good. So guys, this is just some of my fish that I put on my plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add my dressing on top. This is going to be so delicious. Just going to add it just like so. You can serve it guys with some fried dumpling, with some hard door bread, some festival, anything guys. I'm gonna serve mine with some hard door bread, some Jamaican hard door bread. So there you have it guys. This is how I make my Jamaican exhibit fish. If you try it, comment below and tell me what it's like. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye guys. Love you all. Thank you all so much for all your love and your support. I really appreciate it. Coming at the kitchen, Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm, and me like how she a guan.